Try number two. What's the haps, bro hands? Um, this is another DVD update. All the DVDs I bought since my last update. Um, we got, what have we got? Five, five movies, two TV box sets. Yeah! All right, let's get first one is um, Pulse, the original Japanese one. Check it out. Before the grudge, there was Pulse. Um, this is really good. I haven't seen the remake, but if you saw that, and you're like, oh, shit. And you're like, wait a minute, that's an original? Uh, no, watch it, because it's good. It's really creepy and like low key and just super weird. And the ending is really downbeat and morbid. I love it. I wanted to do a review of it, but then I was like, oh no, that will ruin my update. Oh, I know. There's the disc, sorry. I'm blabbering. Bought it from HMV, £4.50, student discount. Word. Probably could have got it cheaper online, but I was like, oh, I have money. I can buy something. Anyways, that's Pulse. Um, DVD extras include making a Pulse feature and a trailer. Let's see, mm, not much. Yeah, that's Pulse. Next one is one everybody loves, especially English people. Hot fucking fuzz. This is on um, the one disc edition. Uh, I could have got the two disc edition for cheaper, but I didn't realise I bought this for uh, five quid in HMV. Right, and then in Sainsbury's and in WH Smith's, I saw, wait, no, no, Sainsbury's and somewhere else, Woolworths, I saw the two disc edition for three quid, and I bought this for two quid more, and I was like, oh, fuck. Again, there's the receipt, I bought it from HMB. So yeah, actually, the extras aren't still on the one disc, they're quite good. You get full commentaries, outtakes, theatrical trailers and TV spots, Man Who Would Be Fuzz, Hot Funk, Fuzz Meter, Storyboards, First Look The Other Side. We all know what Hot Fuzz is. It's the funniest action film of 2007. It says, uh, get on the screen, GQ. Um, and according to someone, Charles Gant of Heat, oh god, Heat, brilliant, five stars. Not sure I'll go that far. It's not as good as um, Sean and the Dead. But it's still really awesome. I actually haven't seen it since I saw it in the cinema. Last year, in like February, I think it was when it came out. Maybe it was January. Um, I need to watch it again. I'm just not in like the comedy mood. I'm more of in like a... Right now I'm in a more Coen brothers mood. But that's Hot Fuzz. It's a good flick. Check it out if you haven't seen it. But why am I saying that? Because everybody's seen it. Um, Next one is No Country for Old Men. Coen Brothers. Woohoo! I didn't actually buy this one. It was um, my mum bought it for me. Because I can't remember why, but she just she was like, Oh, I'll buy you a film for like this under 10, 10 pounds or under. And I was like, I saw this like double pack that had the birds and the original Psycho, obviously, in it. And I was like, oh, I kind of want that, but I want to get that big Hitchcock collection that has them in. And that's like 25 quid. And that two disc thingy was eight quid. So I was like, yeah, no country for old men. Obviously, saw this in the cinema in the beginning of the year when it came out. Um, this is really, really good. This is this is not the usual Coen Brothers. Well, from what I know, this is like dark, morbid, very downbeat, atmospheric. Uh, this guy. He is fucking creepy. I need to watch this again, actually. I haven't actually taken the plastic off. Um, as you can see, it's pure adrenaline, says the Times. A modern-day classic, says The Sun. Um, special features. The, wor the making of No Country for Old Men. Working with the Coens and Diary of County Sheriff. Yeah, it's No Country for Old Men. I want to show the disc because I haven't taken the plastic off. That is that. Four winning Academy for won some awards. It's really good. Next one is one I haven't watched. I bought this today for six pounds thirty. Highlander Steel Book. I've not actually seen this film. I saw Highlander 4 Endgame years and years ago, which was bollocks. 
but her friend kept telling me this was good and I love this song that here we are, you know, Princes of the Universe this is um, Steely Book two discs I was watching um, DVDM's Steely Book video, you know, a year later collection do you have this one? I guess I'll find out when you put a part two or whatever bought this in HMV, 7 quid in HMV 10 euros if you live in the Euroland I think in Ireland, somewhere. Terrible and all that stuff. I'm just like, I'm like a blonde, really, aren't I? Um, this is the Immortal Edition. I can't really comment on this film, but does it have any quotes on it? Uh, no, it's a steel book. It only quotes, you know, it quotes on a steel book. The steel book says it all, doesn't it, really? If you're a steel book, you're like, oh, yeah. Anyways, it's Highlander. I'm hoping it's good. Apparently, Sean Connery has like a weird accent in this or something. Book. Mm -hmm. I love that. It's like all that like kind of the text is like, um, what do you call it? Is it embossed or it, well, it kind of like sticks out and says the sword. I'll try and watch that soon. Next one is I love this, just arrived today and I'm so fucking happy about this. It was like under five quid for um, it was 5 99 originally, but then I got a student discount on it. Apocalypse Now, Steelbook, another Steelbook, woohoo! Um, this is a two disc collection, the collector's edition. Uh, it includes both the original theatrical version and Apocalypse Now Redux, the uh, 2001 version. Um, I'm not really sure what this film is about actually, but it has some good special features, you know, audio commentaries, featurettes, lost monkeys, salmon, sampan scene, I don't know what that's about. 12 number 14 segments, but I was reading this book called In the Blink of an Eye about film editing and this, it was written by the guy who was like one of the editors on this and he was talking about it I was like, oh, I gotta see this, it's supposed to be a classic this guy's talking about it I need to see it and when the steel book, two disc was going for this good a price I was like, hell yeah, let's get the plastic off this little steel book just popped out of nowhere I was like, what? I better get me that um, Oh, it smells nice. But there's Act 1 plus special features and Act 2 plus special features. There's a little booklet thingy in there. What's in there? Some Probably some boring stuff. Oh, and also they've been doing these. I saw this in somebody else's video. I think it was Mikey's Worldview or something. Nice one. Thanks for buying a genuine DVD. Blah, blah, blah. That's great. Brilliant. It's a steel book. You can't get pirate steel books. Silly rabbit. Tricks are for kids. Two more steel books to the collection. Woohoo! So I'm just completely chuffed about that. Okay, first TV show is one that um is Oz season five. I just ah oh, this show's terrible, but I just watch it for the naked men in it really. Now I'm fucking around. Um, it's good. It got kind of silly towards the second half of season four, and I heard that continues throughout the last two seasons, five and six. But I'll continue watching it. I've got this for like a tenner second hand, and it's a brilliant HBO prison drama, says The Times. Um, Brutal and intense, one of the greatest TV shows ever made, ever made, says Zoo. Again, with the no special features and the uh, wah, crappier packaging. It's got eight episodes, eight hours, three discs. It's 18. Yeah, good show, but um, not as good as the first three and a half seasons. Why well, I haven't actually watched this one yet, but I will at some point. I'm just like, oh no, I don't want the show to get worse. Put it off. I don't have time. Shield season six. Next one. This is another one where they took off the special features. Season American one is more and in different cover. And this one's got two feature, four featurettes, that's it. This this is like the ultimate guy show. I remember I was watching Boomstick's video just now, and he said, he's like, this is the ultimate guy show, blah, 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 building up, building up. Sex in the city, blah, boom. You know what I'm talking about if you've seen it. Sorry, I'm like rushing. But um, this is definitely the ultimate guy show. I love the way it's shot as well, like the handheld stuff. And Vic <laughs> Mackey is just badass. And this is a really cool season, all the shit that they did, and even like season two and three just comes to bite them back in the ass. And of course, the ending of season five. 
and I'm watching season 7 now which is just feckin awesome and this is a 3 disc collection but this is a really good show if you like cop shows or just awesome if you like good television then watch this but if you like sh don't like shaky cam stuff maybe this isn't for you but give it a watch anyways that is my update I hope you enjoyed it just a rundown We've got Pulse, Hot Fuzz, No Country for Old Men, Highlander Steelbook, Pocket Now Steelbook, Oz Season 5, Shield Season 6. Bye.